Hi Libra, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your monthly general reading for November 2020. I'm using the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann Donnelly and I'm going to pull a Celtic Cross. After the Celtic Cross, we will pull some Oracle cards for clarification. <clears throat> There's one drop. Knight of Wands, Six of Cups, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups. So something that you're interested in, that you're pursuing. It could be someone pursuing you. That could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Otherwise, this is passionate. This is excited and going towards something, some change coming in or pursuing someone or something. Now, the Six of Cups is about nostalgia. It could be someone from your past, a, reuni a reunification with someone from your hometown, from your younger days, somebody you knew way back that you dated already or someone that you have um, feelings for that bring up those kind of um, bittersweet or poignant kind of memories from your, uh, something familiar to you, whether it be a hometown, your youth, whatever. Now the Page of Swords here is um, either needing to make a plan or some nervous energy here, learning something new. Uh, trying to find out all you can about something, getting the information. It is also the card of a stalker. So it could be that someone coming towards you, this could be someone you know from your past, and maybe they've been keeping an eye on you, um, doing their research or stalking before they even pursued you, which is after they've gathered their information, full speed ahead. This is a passionate uh, connection here with the Knight of Wands, and it's because they think you're the Queen of Cups. They think you're kind generous, beautiful, you have grace, you're um, loving, intuitive, healing. They think you're a lady or that you're someone um, wonderful that they would like to pursue. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, there's the world. Could be someone long distance. It could be um, about the completion of a cycle as well. So something that karmically could be that uh something that ended in the past or some separation perhaps due to tra to moving or relocating traveling and here this being some kind of another second chance another go around all right so let's keep going this is for libra someone rising in venus please for november 2020 it's a general reading so that's my sign it's the end of the shuffle okay so we've got one card here we've got the ten of swords ten of voices um, when a card pops out, I just continue the shuffle, the last shuffle that was going on. And then I ended there. So this is the Celtic cross. This is a situation. 10 of swords challenge is six of wands conscious. We've got the knight of materials, the knight of pentacles, subconscious. We've got the knight of swords. Wow. Two knights, recent past nine of pentacles, recent future. Wow. 10 of cups. That's gorgeous. You right now, 10 of wands around you. There's that stalker again, watching you, page of swords, hopes and fears, queen of cups, outcome, six of cups, see, reunion, and you see how that knight is coming towards you again, but this time it's the knight of materials. On the bottom is seven of wands, standing your ground, competition, people, trying to get your attention. All right, competing interests. So let's just talk about this and then I'm going to clarify it with some Oracle cards. It looks like this is um, quite possibly a love reading just because of the Ten of Cups. It goes from the Nine of Pentacles, which is about independence over here to the Ten of Cups. Happiness, your happiness, what makes you truly happy. This is sometimes called the Happily Ever After card. Um, finding your partner, your soulmate and getting married, having kids, and just being very, very happy, emotionally fulfilled. Now, it doesn't mean that in 2020. It's just whatever makes you happy and fulfilled. Coming into your recent future. Now, you right now, there's a Ten of Swords energy, which is a toxic cycle coming to an end. Good news is, can't get any worse, um, that there's only up to go from here. So the Ten of Swords, you see, look at this body language here. They both look so similar. This situation for whoever this is for Libra someone rising in Venus it's saying that the situation you're in right now for November is something that has been toxic hurtful 
There might have been betrayal, <clears throat> all kinds of negative things, whatever you can think of that makes you at the end of your rope, miserable, stressed out, and um, diminished in your energy. The good news is that it's over because the Ten of Swords shows a completion here, just like we saw in the drop, that world card, completing of a cycle. So whatever situation you're in right now, it's time to move forward and move beyond that because it won't get any worse and you can backtrack, you can linger, but it's best not to. Your challenge is a six of wands. Six of wands is leading, moving forward, uh, leveling up, popularity, recognition, um, a raise, So the Six of Wands in energy is showing that that's the challenge here, okay? Having confidence in yourself and being able to move forward with confidence to the next step. You have what it takes, but you're so stuck in this Ten of Swords toxic energy that that's why it's a challenge, the Six of Wands. Um, consciously, you've got the Knight of Pentacles with the Knight of Materials. This could be someone who is in their late 20s, early 30s, uh, Earth sign, could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this Knight of Pentacles in your mind, if it's not someone that you're thinking of who's like this, um, who belongs to one of those signs, it's about this Knight of Pentacles energy is someone who's got a plan. They're looking for their partner, their king, their queen, um, that they can build a kingdom with. The Knight is someone out of all the Knights, the most loyal, the most um, stick to it, see it through to the end. The Knight of Pentacles has a plan. They're slow moving. They won't rush into things because they're not in a rush because they want to make sure that whatever they pursue has value. So this is what's consciously on your mind. It could be a person who's like this, who's an earth sign, or it could represent their type of energy or some, or it could represent you and what you're looking for now beyond this toxic ending with the Ten of Swords. In the subconscious, you've got the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, it could be someone, again, in their late 20s, early 30s, who's an air sign, Taurus, sorry, uh, Gemini, uh, Libra, Aquarius. So if it's not, this is about the energy of moving forward with confidence again, okay, with a focus. This is double air here with the Knight of Swords. This is uh, being very focused, being very uh, strong, bold. Moving forward with clarity, speed, and it's also a very ego-driven card as well, okay, with the Knight of Swords. So this is a fast-moving energy with the Knight of Swords. The so subconscious and the foundation, it looks like you might even be upset about something. You might feel like with this toxic cycle, Ten of Swords, the situation that you're in with the Knight of Swords, like you want to fight back, like you want to... <clears throat> Make your moves now and you're fed up. You're ready to speak your mind and let them know. And you've already put plans into motion. You're ready to bounce. You're ready to get out. You're ready to move forward with your life. And you don't care who you hurt or whatever because you've been hurt with the Ten of Swords. So you're not going to, this, this is a good energy. Okay. This is a nice energy to have in your subconscious, especially when you're going through this Ten of Swords energy, because whatever's trying to oppress you, hold you down, make you feel bad, giving you a tough time, this is showing a fighting spirit here with the Knight of Swords. In the recent past, you got the Nine of Pentacles, and that's about independence, doing well for yourself, being self-reliant, single, okay, this is a card for single people, and this is being able to manifest uh, financially abundant for yourself, and enjoying life but then there's the bird of spirit that's saying you know there's more to life than this and then comes the ten of pentacles when you start going into this kind of energy ten of cups both really happy it doesn't necessarily mean that there's somebody that you're dealing with it, it looks like whatever you were going through before that you were enjoying doing for yourself enjoying your independence now you're coming into even more fulfillment with the ten and this is ten of cups so this is about emotional fulfillment and happiness and joy and that could entail like romantic love or it could be that you've leveled up where after this, when you move forward and you're ready to leave, you're like fighting um, back and moving forward with a plan and looking for now, you know what you don't want. Now, you know, you're looking for something that has value that's going to add to your life and be 
good for you. And so then that leads to the Ten of Cups in the future. You right now have Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is a card of, again, completion. All tens are completing the cycle. And the Ten of Wands is about stress, responsibility, um, power. It's just coming to mind. Ten of Wands is creative energy, fire energy, and being kind of overburdened, heavy load on your back, stressed out, tired, because you have a lot on your plate. A lot of action, a lot of projects, or a lot of responsibility, things that are sapping you of your energy right now. It's it's an exhausting energy with the Ten of Wands, but it implies, because it's a 10, that one more great push and you will be able to relax because that's when um, you can delegate, that's when you come to a new level where you can enjoy your hard work, the benef the rewards of your hard work, whatever that may be. Around you, you've got this Page of Swords energy. Could be um, learning something new, a new field of study with the Page of Swords, finding out information, doing your research, a new hobby that you're taking up, a new skill, or it could be somebody watching you. Because this is always what a Page of Swords to me is usually a stalker card, okay? Unless you've got a youth as well who could be um, an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now, in your hopes and fears, you got Queen of Cups. You want to be happy. This is what it looks like to me. You want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled. Um, this is a very intuitive card. This is someone who might be a healer, kind, loving, compassionate, the Queen of Love, loving, open to love again. Um, in your outcome, you got Six of Cups. And this is showing a reunion. Something It could be someone that you are going to get back together with from your past. Okay, so it looks like it might be something like that, or it could be, again, another thing is a inner healing inner child issues. You see this little girl, and there's a very sad look to this girl's face, like this kind of Four of Cups energy look to her face. I don't know, a little sadder. So it with the Six of Cups, sometimes it speaks to needing to heal some kind of emotional wound, something from your childhood, or it could be about a reunion with someone from your past. So let's pull some Oracle cards. I'm going to pull a love card just to see where this goes. Let's use Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels. <clears throat> this is for Libra, Sun, and Rising, and Venus for November 2020, please. Can we please get some guidance for Libra? Summer rising in Venus for November 2020, please. Can you please get some guidance for Libra? Summer rising in Venus for November 2020. There we go. Separation. All right. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I'm just going to peek at the bottom. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, okay. Could be that you're separated because of your um, different religions, different backgrounds. This is causing obstacles okay maybe your family's your family won't accept them they won't accept you whatever it may be it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's forever um it's could be a part because of traveling for work um some kind of distance here is implied between the two of you and we saw the world card before it could also speak to not just the completion of it could speak to travel as well so religious factors and needing to overcome this okay and how are you going to overcome this whatever it is now if you're going to take this situation with a ten of swords it could be a real shit storm okay with the people that's in your life they could be really giving you a very hard time about these differences and how this will never work and they'll never accept them i think you guys got this before even libra all right so let me let me keep going i'm gonna pull um a sacred destiny oracle card by denise lynn can we please get a card for libra summer rising in venus please for some guidance for november 2020 please can we please get some guidance for libra summer rising in venus for november 2020 please
flow. And the bottom is healing chaos. Flow. Let me read flow. <clears throat> so flow says... Meandering river. Uh, a meandering river is a waterway that curves, bends, turns, and seems to swing side to side as it flows forward. Viewed from above, it looks sinuous and even snake-like. Meandering rivers are dynamic as they wind their way across valley floors and bring life, giving sediment to new habitats. The word meander was derived from the ancient Meander River, which flows into the Aegean Sea. The Greeks created symbols for meander that have been described as some of the most important symbols for the ancient Greek culture. Um, they represent the fluid movement of water and the eternal flow of all life. The twisting patterns are also thought to represent the serpent, which was a symbol of healing, hence our present-day symbol for doctors and the caduceus. The sacred landscape wants you to know there are times to hold on tight to the shore and there are times to enter the flow. Notice where life is going and move in that direction. Watch for signs and follow them. Don't resist. When you go with the flow, your life force expands and healing on all level abounds. This is also the time to release old limiting patterns. Forgive and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're being self-critical or judgmental. When you enter the flow with gratitude and love, you will find blessings surrounding you. You will enter into a state of grace and healing will abound. So let go of the shore and... Release the need to be right. Go with the flow. Because, you know, what it reminds me of, I was watching uh, Riptides, a video about Riptides and, and, and the flow. For a few days, this was on my mind. Riptides meaning that, you know, when the undercurrent or whatever, and you're in the water and it just sucks you in and you can drown from it. And if you try to use all your energy to fight the current, you know, it's just going to waste all, sap all your strength. And then you're going to, you know, not be able to get to the shore anyways. So they say to just kind of get in certain position, just go with the flow, let it carry you out to sea. And then when it passes and then you can find your way back to the shore. So here it's saying not to fight what's going on. There's no point because it's stronger than you. Whatever this toxic thing is, whatever's carrying you out, whatever's overpowering you to go with the flow, release the need to be right in this fight. Um, and, you know, just wait it out until it calms down. All right. Let me pull a crystal for you. This is the Daily Crystal Inspiration Cards by uh, Heather Askenazi. Askenazi, Askenazi, I don't know. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can we get a crystal for Libra to work with, please? For I wanted to say Sunday, November, but no, for November 2020. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020, please. Can you get a crystal for Libra to work with? I'm going to stop there. Labrator Labradorite, see the magic. It's about taking action, getting things going. Sunstone, take pleasure in the things you do. But I'm going to read this one. From the Daily Crystal Inspiration for Labradorite. And see the magic. There is magic all around you. If you lift your gaze from your everyday path, you will find it around every corner. It is in the beauty of a rainbow, the mystery of the stars, a hug from a friend, and the innocence of a child's laugh. Open your eyes to the many miracles along life's journey be a participant in the world around you believe in divine timing and put your full trust in life's plan you are exactly where you are meant to be take a look around you and you'll find your north star guiding the way toward your destiny core questions if you could make a wish what would you wish for what was the last sign you received to let you know you're on the right path crystal action affirm there's magic all around supporting me today pay attention to the signs from the universe that show up in your life letting you know you're exactly where you need to be. All right, so that's Labradorite. And I'm going to get some spiritual guidance here with um, Doreen Virtue's Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. 
So can we get some spiritual guidance, please? Beautiful goddesses from all over the world. Can we get some spiritual guidance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020, please? What spiritual... There we go. Oh, you got two. Freya Bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Take risks and be daring. And Bridget from Italy. Uh, sorry, Italy. From Ireland. I don't know what's going on. Okay, my mind is just... It is what it is. Okay, it's just... Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. All right. So I'm going to put these goddesses in these placeholders. And goddess Freya. It's always about that energy of taking care of yourself and being confident. Here is saying, be bold. On the bottom, Cordelia, go outside. If you've been indoors too long, get outside and get some fresh air. I think that's for everybody. Go on a walk. Get some exercise. Okay, let's see. Bridget. Don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Maybe like this. Message from Bridget. First, be quite clear about your intentions. If you're unclear, then confusion will lessen your power and force. Like a candle in the dark, be very clear and bright in what is acceptable to you in this situation. Make no mistake, I will guide and protect you. And yet, think of the unparalleled rise in your own viewpoint if you are to stand up for yourself and speak up about your needs and your deepest truth. Now is the time to touch your power, for its heat and flame will ignite your passion, which will propel you forward in countless ways. Even in the face of fear, you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make your stand today. The various meanings of this card. Be assertive. Don't worry about what others think. Trust that your actions will work out fine. Speak your truth. Stick to your opinions. Put your foot down. About Bridget. Bridget is a Celtic triple goddess, which means that she represents three aspects of woman. The young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone, sage, wise woman. Bridget is a fiery goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. And she's a feminine counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Bridget's temple is in Kildare, Ireland. She's celebrated worldwide on February 1st. So that's important when they give you dates. February 1st. The ancient sacred day called Imbolc which marks the beginning of springtime and increasing daylight. Okay, so perhaps in the springtime, February 1st, around there, you will see some change going on with the situation for the better. So Freya, thank you, Goddess Bridget. Freya, Freya. They're both telling you essentially the same thing about stepping up, being confident, and not backing down. Um, believing in yourself, having confidence, which is your challenge with the Six of Wands. Because the Six of Wands is a very confident energy, someone who's got clout, someone who's leveled up. Because five, blah, blah. five of Wands comes before Six of Wands. And Five of Wands is when you've got that self-doubt, um, insecurities, and you're, it, it's likened somewhere, I read this, okay, or, or I'll watch a video about gold and separating gold from the rest of the crowd okay where five of wands is about challenges competing interests fighting conflict change and finding the good out of the the rest of it okay and then comes six of wands when you've got that gold out six of wands is here that level up once you've overcome your insecurities overcome your self-doubts and the negative talk so this is what's the challenge here, the Six of Wands. And here they're telling you, both of them are saying, be bold and don't back down, stand up for yourself, speak your truth. That doesn't mean you have to fight. It just means don't back down and give in. Freya, bold, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. Message from Freya, don't play it safe right now. Instead, take bold action in the direction of your true heart's desire. Success comes not from timidity, but from committing yourself fully to realizing your dream. Hold the clear intention of success and it shall come about. 
enjoy the excitement of taking risks, of being bold and of being daring, and be sure to celebrate your success with a party or by splurging on a wonderful indulgence. Various meanings of this card. Take a risk, make a bold life change, appreciate your body, flirt, go and have fun and celebrate. Above Freya, a Nordic earth goddess of fertility, celebration and passion, Freya rides in a chariot pulled by mighty cats across the rainbow bridge connecting heaven and earth. Unafraid of her sexual power, Freya teaches us to appreciate our attractiveness and to enjoy ourselves. No wonder then that the day of the week Friday was named in her honor since this is a day associated with the end of the work week and a time for celebration. So again, thank you, Goddess Freya. We've got another important time here. It says Fridays. Freya, Friday is named after Freya. And to be able to enjoy yourself, treat yourself, indulge. And um, Libra, you guys are ruled by Venus. Also, you know, that energy of taking care of yourself and being beautiful and um, celebrating your sex appeal, your beauty and your femininity or whatever. Okay. Um, let me see. What else do I want to do? I'm going to give you, oh yeah, that's it. I'm going to pull a card from here. I like this deck. This is the... Um, Believe in Your Own Magic by, by who? Amanda Lovelace. This is the deck. Believe in Your Own Magic. Let's pull this last card, okay? This is for Libra. Please give me one last card for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020. Again, this is the generals. I'll have your love reading out after I finish these next six generals. So this is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 2020, please. What do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we have. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. And there's a, I don't know, a mermaid or a fish over there. What's she reading? It says fairy tales. That She's reading a book called Fairy Tales. And she's by the water. All right. Let me just move this over here and put this over here for a second. On the bottom, we've got Spaceship, Don't Be Afraid to Sing. That's for in case you think your voice is not important. Saying it's really important. You can sink a whole bunch of spaceships with just what you say when you speak your truth. But I'm not going to read all that. I'm going to read you number 13, Linus. It says... Lioness, you've earned all your stripes. Naturally, sometimes with growth comes a little scarring. You've come incredibly far and you should be proud of the person you've become. Think of your scars not as a reminder of the pain you've had to endure in the past, but as proof that you can survive anything. See, there's a reason that came out because that Ten of Swords energy is no joke. You, you've been through something traumatic, been through something extremely tough, you survived it and you're saying that to embrace your scars um, and that's only made you stronger and not to back down even if these people whoever it is around you gossip talk whatever that's bringing you down it's saying don't back down you don't have to fight but you don't have to give in and you don't have to change your mind you can still stick to what you believe but just don't have to fight about it because otherwise you know Sometimes people want to fight, especially right now. People are stressed out. They want to fight. So don't give them that excuse. All right, Libra, that's your reading for November 2020 um, for generals. I'm going to have your love readings out after I finish these generals. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.